It is a beautiful Monday, and thank goodness the weekend is done, for we get to return to what is currently my favorite start to a graphic adventure game ever! We're playing Stasis Bone Totem, and I am oftentimes, and continue to be, Sean Plot. And I'm Sean Bouchard. Lee's just not here, and when Lee says, hey, I wasn't able to make it, typically what I say is, oh, no problem, you know, hope everything's going all right, that sort of thing. Uh, today, what I said was, Sean, I'm going to stream no matter what, even if you can't be here. I want to play Stasis Bone Totem. That game is it's so true. good. Oh, my God. And the name is still weird. It's, it's super weird. It's very odd. But I think it's working in the favor of the game. Cause Stasis Bone Totem is, it is the it. It is the it game. You know, I didn't, I, I meant to and I should have looked up something about the original Stasis. Yeah. Because I like, I'm very curious if that name makes sense or yeah. what the relationship is between that game and this game. Yeah, I, I mean, I I still don't understand Bone Totem, regardless. But I guess we'll see. Now there is something to note, which in, in case any of you have ever been copywriting video game titles, you will find that we're out. We actually we don't have any more. It's we did finish, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it okay. So, for instance, with domain names, people started to learn you could do different extensions. Like, we don't own day9.com, we own day9.tv, as is issued to us by the island of Tuvalu. Okay, so yep. th those little things, or for a lot of games, they use a .gg address, or I know game companies have used like .games um, for stuff. And now it's just started to like degenerate. Where again, you just need some suffix to allow you to have a name that you can remember. Um, you don't have that in games. You just have to like come up with a name. And so games have started to be the name of the game and then this of that. It's like Striker, mm -hmm. Armies at War, because the composition of those four words is easier to trademark and copyright than Striker or one of those things. And so good old Stasis Bone Totem, I think was not hard for them to copyright to 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 get that combination although i have to say i'm i'm inspired because uh i can't remember if i said this last time uh we were on stream but when you initially sort of sent out uh at least to me that this is the game yeah. that we we're going to be playing there was a typo in your text uh oh and that's true you spelled true. it status s-t-a-t-i-s <laughs> Uh, and now I desperately want to make a game called Status just because that's one that I think is not yet trademarked. Yeah. Because uh, I could probably get the register on that. So, so um, like, literally, I have been aware of this sort of behind-the-scenes problem for years of trying to just get a trademark for a company or for yeah. a game. There was a period uh, in, like, the, uh, right around 2010 when just a weird combination of letters that didn't mean anything was, like, considered very trendy. So like Zynga yeah. is uh, one of the perfect examples of this. Uh, and then there yeah. were misspellings of things like um, Lyft, L-Y-F-T, things like that. Um, and I love the idea of status spelled T-I-S where like- It's, it's like it's the worst way that you could spell status. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're gonna continue on with Stasis Bone Totem. Uh, I think cool, that cool. The, the tangents are nearly complete. And what happened um, in the last playthrough is that we've arrived at this mysterious abandoned platform in the middle of the ocean. It's not an oil platform. It appears to be <clears throat> some kind of research facility. And we have learned that this facility operated by some seedy corporation found something or something bad happened deep below where there was a quarantine procedure, a bunch of military, or I guess I should say the in-house military of this corporation showed up and kept all the people on the upper decks quarantined and silenced and they blocked all communication. And we have shown up and discovered the start of what appears to be some sort of supernatural, scary, spooky, sci-fi horror thing going on. And so it's time to find out from our good friend, um, what was his name? The Sweet Teddy Bear? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh... Jesus. Um, this is me, Smart Bear. Smart Bear, Smart Bear. All right, so I just want and the bear And theoretically, talk. there were some people who did get away, right? There was a boat that left. Well, and so far, we've heard from people who didn't leave with the boat. 
Well, I thought that there was a reference to the boat that was coming back and that there were horrors crawling out of it. Do you remember mm -hmm. this? And I thought that that's what it was called. Um, and so... That might be... Now, in case, in case there are any, any fellas or lasses out there that are scared of jump scares and stuff like that, we've not hit any. It's so all friendly neighborhood no, I poppies mean, out we, there. there. Yeah. <laughs> we've there's, hit a couple of, like, flayed dudes. Yeah, like, there, there's, there's this dude who has, uh, we took his heart, actually. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> April Qual says, I'm scared in general. No, 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 I, I, I feel you. I hear you on that. But we've gone through this, and I think that I want to actually briefly go to the other characters to make sure that we remember what to do. Because I feel like we've mostly gone through... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We got the heart. We saw this PDA where we saw all the horrifying things that were there. But we haven't looked at a lot of these other things, the secured elevator. Yeah, I think we gun. just sort of just got here. <clears throat> okay. So we went through all of this. This is where the captain shared his log. Um, oh, yeah. Big D. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, Captain Big D. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Sentry Gun. See if Fox is up. Come on. Run, little mundo. Guns are not toys. Oh, God. I love the voice acting of this bear. I do, too. The The bear voice is, is excellent. I just love uh, the affection that he shows to the other crewmates. Yes, my Charlie. This is how I wish my stuffed animals talked to me. Like, this is... Actually, I have Manfred right next to me for those who are always curious. Nice. Yeah. Hello, my Sean. How was your stream today? <laughs> All right. So, so is this is this a sentry gun that takes DVDs? <laughs> like, what is this? I, it seems like, or maybe maybe it records, uh, like what it shoots at. I don't know. So it appears not to have batteries. <laughs> it needs batteries. All right, so enthusiastically bar door hints at the size of facilities with that. All right. Oh. So can I, like, screwdriver these out or something? Oh, oh, okay, I hit the wrong button. I've moved to the other person that was sitting by the flayed dude. Cool. We can do that. Um, I'm trying to remember what were the things over here, because I think that this was... Oh, that's right. This is not yet open. Oh, I remember the bear needs to activate the elevators. That's what was going mm, on. Okay. The the we've seen this sort of system of having multiple characters that are in different places. Yeah. Uh, we've seen that a couple times in a couple of different games, but the quantum inventory genuinely like is a really interesting addition to that. Yeah. Yeah. That creates like a whole different set of affordances. <laughs> Joe Darkle says, what level in sanitarium is this? Uh, well, <laughs> the, the best way to describe it is if we stored the levels in sanitarium as an array in C++, where there are, what was it, nine, 10 levels in sanitarium? Something like Something that. Something like that, yeah. So C++ lets you access index 15 of that array, which is what we're in right now. Um. That's a that's maybe a joke that four people will enjoy, but I know that those four people will never stop subscribing if they got it. So, Sean, if you want me to explain, I'm not gonna. If you're not one of the four. That's it. No, don't. Busto. Yeah, don't explain the joke. I didn't laugh, I, and listen, I don't want to know why I should have. I took C plus plus once. I don't want to take it again. I'm done with it. <laughs> I I really feel like we're supposed to be in there. So I want to see here if there's... Is the PDA... Guns are not toys. Uh, I, at first I was like, they changed the voice actor. Uh, so here's the logs, <laughs> no collectibles. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I really think... I really think our smart bear needs to get back up there and figure out how to interact his way through stuff. Because, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that this is the bottleneck. It's like, how do we activate... Oops, this is the wrong room. How do we activate... the um, security device and get those restarted, I think. I don't remember if we restarted the everything and we're okay now. I, I mean, we turned power on. 
late late in the episode last yeah, episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. we like got the power turned on. Um, yeah, you know, look, I'm and, gonna go back to switch and see if that powered up something for him. Yeah, this might he have he turned on the bear. All right, but yeah, no, you, you were saying about quantum inventory being slick, thick, solid, and tight. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I, I, I'm, I'm very curious to see how it works as we go forward because, on the downside, it has the potential, I think, to exacerbate the problem that we sometimes have of possibility space exploding. Yeah. Right. Like, if we have three different characters that have their own inventories uh, of a sort of like standard size, but they can also switch items with one another that could get really overwhelming really quickly. Yeah. Uh, but I, so far the ability to not just like a lot of the time you see a kind of repetitive uh, design, uh, a, a design pattern, I guess, of like flipping switches in one place and that opening doors in another place so that you can connect the like storylines of two characters who are in separate places. But the ability to gather items and create items and pass items back and forth and use them in different ways, like I think that adds something really kind of tremendous to the formula. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you don't have to day of the tentacle style, walk to the toilet and like mm -hmm. put it in the toilet, be wrong, walk back to the toilet, mm -hmm. put it in the toilet. Okay, look, I'm sorry. Yes, I am absolutely taking up your space. There you go, little cat. Okay, so... Um, Okay, wait. Just give me everything. So can we use the bionic heart on this guy and have a conversation with Jesus him? Christ, really? Okay. But this interactable... No, we can only interact with his hand. All right. Disabled ah, security implant. Ah. Okay. Yeah. God. Hello. I don't like any of that. Yeah, I, I don't know what this is, though. Oh, I see. It's a security implant. So... It goes into your hand? Yeah, it, it's like one of those things where... Ugh! Yeah, no, that's... It is gross. It is gross. Okay, so maybe the security implant can be used on something. Right? Because we need... I like, don't know. Can Smart Bear even use it? Like, do you need to have human-sized hands? Yo! I didn't notice this. Look at the description. It has some red paint on it, and it smells like nuts. Okay, oh and if if I pass it to this lady, when you hover over it, look oh at this. Oh my god! I'm sure that's not blood. Yes, yes, it's only ketchup. They have different item descriptions per character. Yeah, they do. And of course, this guy—he's all tough and gritty. You know, he's gonna be like, "It's blood." Oh, I had one of those playing on my right foot back in the army days. Huh? Hi. Hello, princess. Hello. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go back to the lady, and this is the substation notice that helped us with the power. There's the PDA. And you know, we actually haven't explored the outside area here very much. But if I ping the areas, it's really just... I actually think that this ping system is like really, really amazingly helpful or just guiding you. Because now I can just right click, I see there's nothing blue, which means there is no more interactables out here. So I know I can just head back in. There's more stuff that you could look at, right? Like you, yeah. could, you could get descriptions. That's the green. Yeah. I was gonna say like, I'm not sure about this aesthetic of having lines stretch out, but um, the fact that you can actually see things that are not on the screen yeah. Uh, is kind of incredible. Oh, I remember. Yeah, okay. Hello, my Charlie. Uh, oops, you. Wow, I'm sorry. Like, this is this is the problem of, like, playing this game and taking a break. Yeah, well. But, you know, what can you do? Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to... Do we need a hand? I, that's what I was saying is like. Wh why can I not just hover this? 
Do I need to take that guy's hand? I don't want to take his hand. I don't want to look at that screen anymore. I mean, or do you need to put it into your hand? Um, I don't. I don't think there's actually a way to do that. There's in the not. Interface. There's not like a interact with self. No, I can only drag it like this. So I'm just gonna take the magnet here. <clears throat> um, so I can't. So her find these. her power is that she can combine stuff and repair stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then Switch's power is he can use strength on stuff. He can use strength on stuff. Does Smart Bear have a power? Smart Bear has no powers. Really. Um, oh my god, I feel like we are so close. Right, no, because the bear did activate the stuff, right? I literally feel like I have the solution. Like, I, ha I have it. This is it. Oh, it's a disabled security implant. Mmm, but you can't repair it. I can't. Yet. Yet. All right, everyone. All right. Fuel mix station. I don't think there's any fuel to mix. Uh, I guess we've lost that tank. Okay, so I... Uh, apologies, everyone. We have to go back to the gory spot. Here we go. All right. Poppies, be warned. Here we go. We're going to go check it out. Oh, this. This is a flayed man. Well, that's... And we're done there. I, there's literally nothing interactable. So... So, all right. I'm going to go back to switch. Or not switch. Sorry. Switching is the verb. It's not the person. I know. Person. But I, I, I do enjoy it because I don't remember anybody's name. So. Also, everyone, apologies. We're going to look at another gory bag. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so no interactables here. Sentry gun is interesting. It is, and I, I, like, is there a place where we could put in a battery, or do we need to, like, hook it up to a... Oh, my God. Oh, power shit. Stuff. Okay. Okay, I didn't understand the interface. That's my bad. So we gotta go charge that shit up. All things are only batteries. Not put in your mouth. Okay, so let me, let me put this back to this thing. And let me see if these, like the battery cell. All right. I'm sure Mac can charge this old power cell. Oh, Mac is the name of it, right? I think. Yeah, that sounds right. What are the characters' names? Who who, who are these people? Uh, no, I think the dude, I think Switch is Mac. The, the bear is... Uh... Smart bear. Or was it Moses? Moses, Moser. Yeah, maybe it was Moses. Moses. Okay. This dude's got like Mac energy, though. What the fuck is this? This is the fuse that we built earlier. Oh yeah. The generator's out. Use when you paddle with equipment in this rig. Yeah, so this, this this is now no longer interactable. Okay, so I guess we use that enough. Okay, so we Did need... that turn the lights back out, though? <laughs> it, it, it may have done that. It's PDA encryption. So this goes up here. I don't think there's anything notable here. This looks like the kind of room where you might power something up. Yeah, it's truth. But oh my God! But there's no, no blue lines. No interactables. There's no. There's no interactables. Yes. Hello. I will give you tummy time. My cat's like my tummy's an interactable. Oh my God! Look, a cell recharging station. Do you remember this? Because hey. I only just now do. I yes, I had forgotten it. Holy oh shit! Oh my God! Incredible. Oh my god, dude. I mean, I assume that worked. Did that work? Dude, that graphic literally made me worried about the Y2K bug again. It was so 90s. Yeah. It was so mm -hmm. good. Like, that mm -hmm. shit was so 90s, I wouldn't be surprised to look down and find myself wearing Jinkos. Like, that is this this screen with the screen shake and, the, like, the 12 FPS. Give me this back. Charge power cell. 
So I would not be surprised cool. if the charge power cell went to the dandy Sybil, whatever her name is. What well, what is she gonna do with that? Uh, repair these. Okay, okay, don't, uh-uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna give it back to the the Care Bear. Yeah. Mac, Charlie, and uh, Moe's, that's right. All right. Something has activated behind me. Something colorful. Hope loved colors. God, it's so sad. Oh my god. We're, we're gonna have to get a... Target disc? Probably. Let's see if the terminal has anything. Oh my god, the amount of progress happening is not a lot. I mean, we did, we fired up a hollow table for some reason. Ghostly visage floats in silence with the hollow table. It appears to show a man-made structure on the ocean floor. That's pretty sick. So it doesn't let me grab this anymore. I can't interact with this. I feel like I have explored the entire world. There's nothing in the world for me anymore. I bet that's not true. Oh god, there's nothing for me. <clears throat> Unopened letters in a picture frame. Do you think the sentry gun takes photos of a family? Maybe you can, like, <laughs> load that into there, and the genetic sensors will be like, all right, if I see that, that wife, kid, and bud's not gonna blast them. <laughs> or if this pink thing starts coming through. <laughs> I'm just not sure. All right, run, run, run. That would be funny if that was a way that you could trigger a death animation. <laughs> we we have discovered that there are there are death animations. King, King's Quest style bad endings. So Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is all the progress we're going to make today. I, I, w I just will give a shout out of respect to us. Um, I, I really think there's probably a more derogatory way to say a shout out of respect to us. Because that just immediately sounds like the most arrogant, vain shit a human being could possibly say. You know what's one of my favorite quotes that I've said? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, in those early Mostly Walking days, we never got hints. Ever. Never That's true. did. Never. And there were episodes where we would just wander around for two hours and fucking nothing would happen. And I can actually track in real-time data the horrendous cost to the bottom line of this business <laughs> that occurred. I can just see the viewers like, just going down. And yes, that hand is going straight for a pat, Despy. Like, it was, and, but I was just like, no, there's an, there's, there's a policy that we have. <laughs> okay, so let me get this out of here. Uh, um, so I, I'm currently on Max, on the Max Scout about. I'm gonna see if there's other things in Max general vicinity that seem like anything would happen to them. Because there's the junction box. There's this substation notice that's just a notice. So this is as closed as something can get right now. Okay. Alright. By the way, we dropped zero frames. I think my internet's better. Thank God. Last week was... Oh, good. It was hell. So yeah, I just don't think there's anything here. Uh, alright. Are you looking up a hint system? Um, I'm I'm looking and there's not a uh, 
universal hint system for this game. Well, I, th I think there is something. Games. I think there is something built in because if I if I look around, there's oh. this. Oh wait, no, there was a hint. <laughs> no, thing that's built controls. Into the game that was showed really? up up here. Because yeah, you remember it was like telling us some instructions before that was what we thought that we would be doing anyways. So is there another thing here? Is there a menu? All right, well, this is the game. Um, let's see, we did the sentry. All right, so I'm gonna wander back through the Care Bears area. And I think it actually doesn't even let us go back through because this is the door that Mac is currently on the other side of. Not currently, but a while in the past, he was current to being outside this door. So, I mean, are there other things here? Are there... There's got to be something that I'm just missing. Because there's this poster here. Um... Okay, you were very close. You were very close. Uh, but there's a step that we missed. Uh, which is that we need to pass that bionic heart over to Mac. Oh, that's a Legend of Zelda poster. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Didn't think about that. You know, because this is something that we haven't done. As soon as the power source can be ripped clear of the juicy bits. Okay, yeah, no. What is it? Separated the power source from this heart. It was completely embedded into the meat. Wash your hands, Mac. <laughs> hey. So then we can give this back to... Not you. Um... Yeah, no, so, so yeah. This, is, this, is, this is a mechanic logic bit that we need to remember to do. That actually worked. We just what need to remember to Charlie? try to break things and just prepare things. Mimic the sound of a human yeah. heart to get this security implant to work. Oh, Nothing mimic big. the sound of so a human smart, heart. Charlie. I see why you keep them around. I would not I didn't hmm. This is the game. This is the game. If you question I guess this is the game. If you question it too much, I'm going to keep you in quarantine, okay? Was there, there wasn't a, I mean, it didn't actually say anything about a heartbeat, though, right? Like, was that a... I think that was like a lore thing. Like, the idea that your heart oh. is powering the fire assumption. Okay. Error number 43. Magnet. Wait, doesn't somebody have... Don't we have a magnet? I mean, I have it right here. Fuck yeah. We got new screens. We got new screens, baby. It's full of blood. Full of blood. Clumps of dried viscera still cling to the ground, the sight and scent of which make your primal instincts spike. I hope that the splatter was caused by a dropped corpse, or the hope that the splatter was caused by a dropped corpse is hardly comforting, but the alternative is too terrible to consider. This is text taken from uh, the day after DreamHack ends. Um... Oh, Jesus. I got two more bodies here. Like the ones upstairs? No. No, the, these are worse. And they're <coughs> bags. They are? I'm they are. really close to calling this Charlie. Okay, so this is another entrance. Yeah, where, let's... I will say, I wish this game had a gamma control, because it is so yeah. dark. Wow. <sighs> The diving bell is huge. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> this thing can take an enormous amount of pressure. How far down do you think they were going? With equipment like this? Two miles. Deep. Very deep. Um, yeah. There's the classic fiction move of don't ever give an exact number because, like, how much does it cost? And then someone shows the other side of a, of a phone. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. No one has that much money. And then they just move on from it. Because if they're like 50 bucks, it's just like, oh, I can pay that. <laughs> Elevator diagram. So do you, okay. think, do you think this goes down to here? I mean, I think, I think that it goes down. Yeah, I think it. I think that's right. Uh, down to whatever's T posing down here. <laughs> 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 it's just it's just the character's animation model. All right, uh, diving bell terminal. Hmm. 
Can you hack that? <sighs> Not by myself. Moses, I'm gonna need your help here. My Charlie. My Charlie. Can you take that disc? Yeah. Blank data disc. Oh my god, can I give the blank data disc to, to Mo? Yeah, you probably want to put something on it, but... No, because if you put the blank data disc in the sentry gun, it'll just shoot anything, right? It's it's oh, like maybe. giving your target that like uh, the what the hell? This isn't an oil rig, Mac. It's some kind of lab. I knew that yeah, before we started the I show. It. it explains why there's no AIS. Yeah, they're operating off the grid out here. But why? But why? I don't believe it. All right, examine PDA. Sean, you ready to get your voice acting chops tested again? Let's do it. <laughs> all right, uh, you're going to do all the personal logs. Okay. K. Elspis. <clears throat> uh, K. Elspis. I'm slowly growing accustomed to my condition following the unfortunate incident. In many ways, the news hanging over my head has sharpened my intuition and emboldened my drive. I am beginning to accept that it was a necessary catastrophe that allowed me to push beyond my previous capabilities. The downside is that I have no one to commit on scientific or consult on scientific matters. The other research staff here dawdle in minor work while the rest of our, uh, our goons trained only in manual labor. My closest peer is the occult expert Baron. Still, we are forbidden from addressing him directly or making eye contact, which is ludicrous authoritarian <laughs> move. Still, even in isolation, I have ideas. I've been thinking about how I can turn this curse of mine into a boon. I'm curious to see how it would affect other biomatter. Watching the cook sit at the edge of the platform and fish give me a, an idea of where I could find suitable test subjects or samples. Pot samples. Potato, potato. Or subjects. Report. I may not have access to that sexy mule research, but my position affords me some perks, including shared samples. I've been analyzing a fascinating sample from Alpha's old Sheila project. Based on the generated model, its vestigial organs appears to have no use. The eyes were hollow sacks of fluid and the legs were different sizes. But Sheila is not the Holy Grail. It is merely an evolutionary stepping stone. The Wikipedia. Okay, let's try <laughs> this again. Terapedia? The Terapedia, Sacalina, Linen, I can Damn do it. this. Yeah. Whew. Terapedia, Sacalinensis, 134 is our salvation. But it remains beyond my grasp as a mere cane supplicant. Uh, this is a message. You want me to do the message? You know what? I'll do the messages. There's a lot of personal logs. So the half and half. Okay. Mr. Darren, while I understood that proper procedure must be followed, your ignorance threatens my research and well-being. Unfortunately, corporate is currently preoccupied with organizing the Omega construction. So I'm forced to debase myself by going through to you to obtain my injections. Don't confuse these for some farcical dietary supplements. Without them, the nanites in my blood would corrode my bones to the point of shattering, after which the same nanites would perpetually rebuild the shards into increasingly hideous forms. What? Jesus. It is not a pleasant experience, nor one that correlates with long life expectancy. What? They do They do what to your bones? Is This, this is like reading so, a warning label on G Fuel or something. Like, this is terrifying. Okay, so, so he's got nanites that would corrode the bones and then perpetually rebuild the shards. And the supplements uh, keep the nanites under control, I guess? I think it's like the nanites are aggressively corroding the bones, and so the calcium injections are what prevent that corrosion from happening. Yeah, I think it must be. My what, yeah. what, so, I, presumably the nanites are the curse that he's talking about? Does he have, like, unintentional nanites? Yeah. No, or the nanites there, like, for a reason? Is this one of the people that walked into my hospital in the game Theme Hospital? You know, like, <clears throat> who maybe had, like, slack tongue or something like that, and this guy had blood nanites, and I just didn't have that, so I sent him away, and now he's working in a lab and sending emails because he's pissed off? Like, ah... I mean, it's either that or, like, hear me out. Um, maybe he has a rare condition where his bones are too strong, right? Oh, yeah. And I've so he had to get nanites injected in order to combat the bone-too-strong disease. 
Yeah. But that's now true. the nanites can't be allowed to run totally out of control. So he has to take calcium supplements to uh, prevent his bones from being completely destroyed by nanites. I think that even if the game gives us their explanation for it, I'm just going to disagree with it because I think yours is better. Okay, good. So if my calcium injections aren't on the next shipment, I will ensure that your contract is terminated and your mother is thrown into the gutters. Label these as the highest priority. My life and your continued employment depend on it. All right. And that was to Kurt Darren, who I don't remember who that is. I don't remember Kurt. I don't mean to gloat, but my work has yielded impressive results. The introduction of my nanites has revived cells within my bone marrow samples, and they continue to divide at a healthy rate. Moreover, the resultant growth contains, continues to expand exponentially. It will soon be complex enough to allow for an initial biological analysis of the retrieved corpses. We are, I we managed, are about to walk to some freaky shit, man. Keep I going, mean, this going. is... I don't... Hmm. I managed to synthesize my very own own PS-139 from the remains brought here for Baron. <clears throat> Watching the bioculture mature fills me with pride and relief. It will mark my milestone achievement, one of the few I've managed since we first arrived chasing those signals. I also admit to some dark pleasure in knowing I was right to stay, oh, despite God. Dr. Al Kabur's attempts to replace me with Dr. Yamada. Dude, it's so funny <laughs> because every time we get to like the point where there's a bunch of deleted messages in the last log, yeah. it's always just like some absolutely Lovecraftian horror description. He's like, I love knowing I was correct. <laughs> That's why you always go long in Enron. I'm like, when was this shit dated? Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, Oof. although predictably, others are covetous of success. Due to shifting scope, the experiment and all relevant documentation will be reallocated and escalated. Baron will be taking ownership, and the sample will be moved to his lab. I doubt I'll get credit beyond a footnote. Fortunately, owing to my meticulous work process, I have copies of my work that I'll be keeping. If Kane isn't interested in giving credit where it's due, I'll find someone who is. You know what? I'm going to do the voice in the next message, too. You're just too right. compelling, Sean. Okay. Uh, uh, I've made contact with an old friend on the mule. He is eager to share his findings with me. For those that don't recall, because I didn't until it was read, the mule was the sort of unmanned thing that went down to explore what the heck was happening below. Oh, right. And now we've learned That's that right. it's actually a giant structure at the bottom of the sea, and um, the mule was sending all the data past the upstairs straight to headquarters. So no mm -hmm. one knows what's going on. It was all encrypted. Listen here, you little bilge turd. I will personally <laughs> report you to the Baron if you improperly dispose of my specimens again. I won't have the base born interfering with company business. I should have thrown you in the brig. I demand to know who else was involved. Ah, good old Sid Mason. All right, here we go. Sid Mason. As if working with his highness Baron and his pro proctoheliosis oh. uh, problem wasn't bad enough. Wait. Nothing functions. Does that mean his anus has a halo? I'm, like, I'm, what is... <laughs> What, what, okay, Good hold on. Good question. Let me, Good question. Hold on. Let me see if Miriam Webster knows what this is. Um, Proctoheliosis. Yeah, I. You know, I'm not a. I'm not a. You know, I'm not a biologist. He, Helios. Helios is the god of the sun. So maybe there's just like light shining out of his ass. He's got. He's got a case. <laughs> got a case of spotlight, but uh, you just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Proctoheliosis. Okay, it's not in Miriam Webster. Uh, proctocolitis is a general term for inflammation of the rectum and colon. Yeah, so so here's the thing. As someone who's <coughs> immature, I know what procto means. But it's the heliosis mm, I'm having a difficulty, like, merging, coming together. Um, uh, may maybe the game will tell us. Maybe this is... Uh... Yeah. Uh, they are all interfering weasels here. If Kane catches a whiff of my side projects, there may be a problem. I've told my connection that our clock is now ticking. To Stephen Cameron. Mr. Cameron, I need you to hurry to my lab. The evacuation will wrap up within a few hours. Mule operations have concluded and the bell has been recalled. As such, you will be required to carry specific equipment aboard the Sebastian. This is the ship that had the monstrosities crawling out of it. That's right. I am currently preoccupied with processing and collecting crucial documentation. 
but I have earmarked the relevant machines for your convenience. Consider this your apology to me for disposing of my <laughs> Cordata samples. Oh yes, your friend squealed like a pig when I applied the right press sewer. If admission of guilt is beyond your character, I imagine the promise of escaping several weeks of water and food rationing will be an appropriate motivator. Report. PDA K L Elspus. Clone to the device. Personal log. Okay. I scribbled the code to the Chimera mess mass storage unit on one of the reports. I cannot find it for my life. But not to worry, I have the research encoded on a data disk. I am leaving this PDA as a backup should I return. Onward to a bright future. Oh, well, let's find his corpse. And is yeah. it? There it is. Good. Might, it might is be right there. Well, there's certain. Mac, look at this. It looks ancient. Oh. Like a fossil. And not human either. I like this place less and less. Oh, are, is this. Do we, do we just live here now? Her, her muscles have gone limp, so I, I need yep. to... Let me... Okay, okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, you gotta let go of that. Okay. There we go. You can you can lie down in the lap. Okay, there you go. You know what? She wants... She wants the knee up. This is normally her... All right, there you go. You're on the knee. Good cat. Good cat. I like that this game can be played... Uh, simply by using the mouse. All right, so 180, 180 <clears throat> darts fans here. Wow, this is clearly a skeleton of my brain. Let's look at the size of that skull. Wow, <laughs> I'm like so smart. Like I understood Inception on the first viewing. I'm like real. I'm like totally makes sense. How do I pathfind it there? I can't quite understand the layout of this. Charlie, what in Cain is that? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's ancient. And doesn't have anything to do with Cain. Okay. A large okay. coin-shaped disc dominates the side of the room. The quality with which the stone has been sculpted suggests that it was made with modern-day equipment, though the numerous symbols emblazoned on the surface do not resemble any glyphs you recognize. There you go. That's, that's where you all right. Documents? Huh. Look at these drawings. I like these. They're oh, no, pretty. Wait, you and I have very different definitions of pretty. Bear. All right. So see how it's like, it looks like an 809? Yeah. So it could be 1809 is the complete code. Yeah. Okay. 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 Look, I'll pet you. She just keeps like... Extending her arm up and just setting her claws into my cheek. <laughs> of course, why? Why wouldn't she? What, what is written on the bottom of these photographs? Is that like FFG hex? FFG H O X. It appears, and then twenty one. X. Genetic sequencer. Oh, okay. Wow, it looks a lot like my dorm room. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. Dude, this beat. Okay, let's not. Okay, 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 okay. Ow! Oh, ah! Okay, we're doing okay. Oh, we're having a negotiation. Okay, everything's fine. <coughs> By the way, what is that gr sound? That right there? Like, I don't know if you heard that like bleep sound. I keep hearing it on my desktop, and I don't know if it's this game. Oh, it's the blank mm. data disk. All right, so. Mm. Use door code? It's a four digit code. Okay. Okay, so one of these guys has a blank data disk. What? What? Dude, we, we definitely did a good job on that. Yeah, it did make a nice noise. I like how nobody, nobody's going to comment on the fucking grizzly scene that we just witnessed. Yeah. 
What the fuck? Dude, yes. Yes, this game is sick. So, you know, there's the 180. Oh, 1809. I see. I see. I, I thought it was 10809. So it should be 1809. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but that w that was the Jesus. Ew! The I'm sure the amorphous blob. I saw the amorphous blob move. I suspect they grew this from the bone marrow extract of the weird-looking skeleton. Put it in there. Okay, okay. And now we have a disc that we can put into a sentry gun, and it'll kill whatever the fuck that is. Hello, Moses. All right, you poor thing, you need to get out of there. Why would you pick that up, Koromar? Because it has an interactable button. That's why. That's yeah. why we do anything in an adventure game. Hey, are you okay, Despy? Okay. Going in. All right, it's Bone Totem O'Clock. Dude, I love Moses' walk animation. I know, it is, everything about Moses is pretty great. <clears throat> All right. No target. Okay. So we need Mo to get down here. Okay, so I, I think, here's what I'm thinking. I think we need the sentry gun. Okay, I think we need to get some chimera mass and we need to give it to Mo, so Mo can put it on the door. The sentry gun will shoot down the barricade oh, and then we can go down. Interesting. Ugh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get in it. Ghosty, it's great to see you, man. All right, so we're gonna... Hey, it looks what like me when that? I play FPS I games. Door. A door? I have a door. What'd you use, dynamite? Guns are not toys, Mac. He has a gun now? <laughs> what are you complaining about? He didn't shoot you. Not yet. I am a very smart bear now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that every single oh time God. I send an email? I am a very smart bear now. Dude, I need to decompile this game just to extract the Moses audio lines. All right. Yeah. All right, my legs hurt. I know. Here, let me rotate this way. Ah! All right, going in. I want to go down the elevator. Guns on I think point. that's where we're headed. Yo! Here, hey! Good work, Moses. I need you to override the terminal inside the big metal ball. Can you do that? I am a smart bear now. God, I love this. This scene. place is not safe or happy. Children should not play here. This water Agreed. is dark. I do not like water. In water, you were powerless. I know, little guy. I know. You can do it. You're brave and strong. Oh my god. I am brave and strong. Oh my god. I want people to talk to me the way that these characters talk to Moses Bear, man. I, I agree oh. to a certain extent. Oh my oh god. My wow. God. Oh, I'm really Holy cute. shit. I'm just extremely fucking cute. <laughs> Look at his Can paws on the keyboard. The firewall override. Charlie, computer says doors are open. I'm heading your way. Okay, Roger that. Oh my Incredible. God, I forgot that we had a lucky berry mode. We have a lucky berry <clears> mode, <throat> guys. Every oh, time, nice. every time Moses does something. If you don't spam that, anything, I will, I literally will, anything, please. If anything at all occurs ever for any reason at any time, use the lucky berry mode. 
I'm inside. Um. This place is leaking bad. Seam intact? It's solid. Kane built it like they build everything. To last. Built to hmm. last, built to last. Um, I, I was gonna say it would be really interesting to have uh, conversations with this with Moses be more Rest like peace, uh like trying to Never get chat gp to do you things really that it's not that? supposed to do never know. like if she had to employ some uh oh. those bodies you know um you keep giving it up and i'm so sorry attack? wounds are too uniform shark teeth rip the shit out of flesh language mac what about that that guy upstairs the damage on him. Yeah, that was something else. Intentional. Maybe someone lost it. You know, went psycho. Not went psycho, went Lovecraftian. I don't think we should be doing this. We don't have any idea where this thing goes. Well, we're gonna go. It goes down. Uh, you know what I mean. I'm not going back to the boat. You can leave if you want to, but I'm staying. God damn it, you take I'm incredibly risks. curious, and I don't care. And you don't fight hard enough for things that are important. Well, I, I recognize this fight. Ooh. Back this one time. Will you just trust me? We're all we've got left. We're all we've got left. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got cutscenes. We got bloom effects. Hey, you know, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. I knew, I knew that elevators were up your alley. So when I saw that, I just knew if we could do it, it would give you a good Monday cheer. Thanks, Kate. Oh my God. Ooh. Dude, we also need Gamma turning up down here. Yeah, no kidding. It's only going to get darker. <clears throat> okay. Well. Well. This thing just keeps on going. Have we ever been this deep? Deep. Yeah, the crozier was close. <laughs> Not by half. That was under an ice shelf. Deep. I love that job. It's good, clean salvage. In and out, no surprises. No bodies. We are deep. Yes. Oh, Moses. There are bodies. We've worked with bodies before. So far, there's been so nothing. So far. Why? I'm deep. sorry, Mac, but you know I'm right. You know without this, we're at a dead end. We won't be able to. I'll be underwater. Just for a little while, Mose. I do not like water. In water, you are powerless. At least the bear gets it. <laughs> Lucky bear. Lucky bear. What? Um. Oh, oh, is that a hermit crab in a skull? I assume the skulls Jesus were. Christ. In the skulls were mating. <laughs> Dude, we did all just see a giant. Was that a corpse? Was that a statue? It was. I think it was a giant alien statue. Oh, this is the game, baby. <laughs> Purified 100 says it was a bone toad. Clearly. <laughs> Mobile underwater laboratory environment. Is that what it said? Chapter two. Oh my God. We made progress in a video game. 
all calm beneath. Uh, that's terrifying. Because I assume that it's just not that calm. Warning. Docking bay depression arrives. No atmosphere present. Warning. Well, glad it told us. We'd be dead in 90 seconds in there. Not just us. If there's no life support, does that mean there's no survivors? Charlie Mac, I do not need life or support. Lucky you. Yes. Lucky Moses, bear. Go for it. <laughs> See if you can pressurize everything out there. What? Uh, do not exit. Okay. No atmosphere present. I don't know. What is no atmosphere present? No mean? one at all. Yeah, it looks sealed off. I mean, I assume Where did it everyone means. everyone go? Some place further in? I assume that what it means is that there's like no atmosphere like Earth's atmosphere here. There's n there's not enough oxygen, or there's not the right mixture of oxygen, or there's not enough pressure <clears throat> in there. Like maybe but it's it just like a. Yeah, I guess Back maybe, in. but I you would, I would think like you would you would want to keep something like this at a relatively this high pressure because otherwise oh, the pressure of the water that. is just gonna yeah implode it. Saw blade, right? Mm. All right. Expired juke paste. Hatch jam. Call mule for assistance. All right, just leaving. All right, we got a little, got a little dystopia here. Great. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Door control. The glass is too thick for a bear. Why are there paint. skulls painted on it? Yeah, Who what did that? I assume a curious mind that was trying to get ready for a great week. Probably. Alright. Vent. Locked. Keep looking, Mose. My Charlie. I mean, literally, I feel my heart break every time Mose goes, my Charlie. It's just so sweet. Oh, 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 oh. Is this, is this Procta Heliosis? <laughs> I'm not mature. When I was younger, they told me I would become mature as an adult. I flatlined at some point. I've been the same mature for a long time. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so we also see this 3x3 three three grid here that goes through. I do points. see that. Looking looking for my post-its. Oh there we go. I see we have a lot of to play. Your death is vital to us. So let's ensure we're all working hard to meet our goals and deliver on our commitments. These doors are locked. I figured. Emergency bulkheads came down. Then people could still be alive on the other side. Okay, so we definitely need to go through the vent. That seems right. <clears throat> Alright, so I don't know what's with that. So there's the door control that, like, it's just literally too hard to break through. So I think that what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get through this vent, which will let us get to other areas, which will eventually let us pressurize everything. Nice. Blunt Inc sideways. Incredible. Oh, no. No, I do not like dogs. Charlie Mac. Just push past it. It won't bite you. 
I do not like dogs, Charlie. It won't? This dog is bad. It's a toy. It doesn't get scared, not really. And through there's the only way to get us out of here. And if he's ripped to shreds, then we're done. You care about that thing too much. This dog I must do. be very hungry. Well. I recently watched uh, the movie Christopher Robin with uh, Ewan McGregor. Yeah, how was it? It was pretty good. Um, but I can't not think of this bear as Winnie the Pooh. Nice. Ah. I mean, I, I'm using the only inventory item on the only interaction yeah, that I've no, got. Yeah, no, that's that's good. That's a that's good way to do it. Oh, not this. I do not like tight places, Charlie. Sure, like complaining though, huh, Bear? No. You're doing great, Mose. Bad smells. Dead smells. Uh oh. A breeze is gently blown through the vent grill. It smells like stale, greasy hair and dust. Can I just stop and say that this game is incredible? I am. Yeah, I mean, it is. For me, I mean, this is a 10 so far. This is just absolutely doing it for me. All the themes I love, these zoom in up closes, the characterization of the three characters, critically. One isn't annoying, okay? How often <laughs> do characters in games try to have personality and, you know, chat to each other? And it's just so annoying. It's like all this sort of false argumentation. But here people are actually like earnest and trying to help each other and this bear is so sweet. Oh my God, the, the bear is are... good. I mean, I think that the thing that I would say is most negative is the way that these lines are drawn. I think I take some issue with. Yeah, it is. It creates a very cluttered interface. Uh, I feel like unnecessarily. Yeah. <clears throat> Insert gas rubber. H49, Xeno 2, Oxygen 1, Helium 50. Okay. Oh. Oh, look, a broken handle. What do you know? All right. Keep on going. Okay, okay, okay. Regulator valve. Okay, hold on, Sean. Can you... Can yeah, you just... hydrogen 49. Oh, hydrogen you, you already 49. did? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What, a, what an absolute gamer. Hydrogen uh, 49%. Uh, it's just going up. How, how do you think? I think you can o you can only push it up. So wait, hold on. Can you if you if you increase the oxygen, will that decrease the hydrogen? Nope. Oh shit! How do you make stuff well, go let's back? Let's see if it loops around. Yeah, it does. It hits zero again. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay, what are the numbers? Hydrogen 49. I'm so glad it just lets me click as fast as I want. I know, that's pretty good. Oxygen? Oxygen uh, 1. And helium is 50. We're also supposed to have some xenon in here, so... Oh, examine PDA. It's voice acting a clock. Okay. Bruno Correa. Uh, would you do me a favor and do those personal logs? We got a lot of them. Yeah, sure. Who the fuck is Bruno Correa? He's an engineer. Okay. <clears throat> Mission successful. 
No I managed way. to smuggle Missy into my quarters. I'm glad I forked out a few extra ration packs for a handbag breed. I figured I can walk her at night between shifts and stuff her down in my overalls if anybody gets close. Fuck Missy. Construction is construction is com oh excuse oh, me. Oh, that's a report. Sorry, that's a construction report. No, well, do it. But it's okay. I'll I'll do the voice. Construction is commenced on the exterior framework of the new site entrance. Fibercrete fabrication will take about two months with the pre-built sections we have to work with. After the shell's been constructed, we can begin connecting the umbilical and draining seawater from the structure. Missy has outgrown her carry case. She's the most definite, definitely not a toy Pomeranian. So we now know what the dog is. Yeah, no kidding. Ever since we cut into the structure, I've been having bizarre dreams, waking up in a cold sweat with my eyes wide open. Jesus. In the most recent vision, I'm laying paralyzed on a stone slab. I hear a growl and a grunt to my left, and then I see a naked, crying child to my right. Suddenly, my legs start burning, and I feel pressure on my prostate. And then I realize they're cutting me open from anus to chest. I look up and scream, but no sound comes out. Their cold eyes stare into my soul. Oh my god. I literally did not want to read. It's cutting log. me from, an from anus to chest. It's not something I ever wanted to. This is, uh. Out. I just wanted to note this down in case I want to refer to it sometime in the yeah, future. Yeah, personal log. I want to log <laughs> anus to chest real fast. <laughs> Prefabrication took slightly longer than expected due to unidentified electrical interference, but. We finished assembling the outer shell. The crew has dubbed it the blister. By my estimation, we will begin draining the blister, so to speak, in early January. Note, several inspection drones went missing. They are not showing up on the mule roster. <laughs> <clears throat> Review, Zombie Shark. One of Brian Henderson's lesser known monster movies. A, a shark is brought back from the dead by waste runoff and wrecks havoc on a small seaside town. The practical effects aren't convincing, but they are fun. I have, uh, I have seen a shark with half its face missing. Henderson took some creative liberties. Missy and I give it a 7 out of 10. Oh, construction report. The scrubbers have been bugging some of the welding units. I recommend they be deactivated until construction is complete. Furthermore, I would like to report that Robert Follis has commandeered some company equipment, including WAVs and sample collectors for personal use. Hijacked drones have repeatedly buzzed our construction site at dangerous speeds. And now an incident report. CC Bruno Correa, all contacts from Mule Supervisory Board. Mr. Bruno Correa suffered a minor injury today when a series of pipes burst on the blister. The violent pressure change in his suit resulted in a dual pneumothorax. Ugh, I don't know what a pneumothorax is. The damage uh, to his lungs seems... is irreparable. A complete transplant has been scheduled and billed as company account. Mandatory indentured debt uh. obligation has been extended to 15 years till the principal has been repaid. Ugh. Dystopia. Uh, further investigation will be necessary, but the company has been indemnified as per Article 1287 in Mr. Correa's employment contract. We wish him a full recovery and a prompt return to his post. I feel horrible. Missy was alone for three days until Milford re rescued her. It's been two months since the accident. I still can't sleep. Whenever I visit the dig site, I get the feeling I'm being watched. It's mostly quiet, but some nights I can hear something moving deeper in the temple. The temple, huh? Hmm, temple? I've talked to Dr. Shaw about it, and she says I'm suffering from trauma-induced hallucinations. Doctors never listen. I had strange dreams before the accident. <laughs> Anus to chest and all of that. At least I'm not alone down here. Sometimes Missy lets out a blood-curdling yelp, reminding me of Cujo with her raised hackles. Does she also sense the stirring below? All right. Review, Inside's Out 2. I only made it through a few minutes. The scene with the critter moving in the protagonist's belly really gets to me. Unrealistic and gross, done exclusively for shock value. <laughs> Fuck. Last of the Omega equipment has been transported into the temple. My contract is almost up. After that, Missy and I will head out to the surface for some much-needed R&R, and then we can begin chipping away at my debt. Lake isn't returning my calls, and neither is Lester. This is the second poker game they've missed. Come to think of it, Lake has a bounce in his step. Bet he's banging somebody on the mule. No, I'm a one-lady man. That lady has four legs. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't misunderstand Don't me. Read I, I Don't read into it. Don't read into it. I have on. a dog. I have a dog is what I'm suggesting. I have a dog is what I'm suggesting. <laughs> I yearn to have the uh, waking dream again. 
It took some convincing, but Dr. Shaw finally prescribed me a fat man. You're supposed to take the drug orally, but I've heard it can produce realistic hallucinations when taken as a suppository, and I have an anal fixation. So there's there, there's a road, uh, yeah, that's right? the road my fat man will take. I know, I like to bring up butts and stuff whenever I can. And in fact, I was given an instruction about medicine, and I said, that's going in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bingo! <laughs> bingo! It worked. Time slowed. A rhythmic beat to this. This character is going in a different direction than I expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a rhythmic beat took my body to a new plane of existence as I was pulled from my mortal coil. It was a. <clears throat> I was on a granite slab again. <clears throat> but this time I spoke. I could understand the words of the song, and it was beautiful. Something crawled under my skin, into my heart, and behind my eyes. The church bells chimed, and Jesus rose from the quivering mass of flesh. I was not scared, and it all felt so real. Dude, Sean, is your voice hurting? Because, like, it is. I'm worried about you. Because when you went, <laughs> huh, I was like, look, I'll, I'll do the next personal log. We headed straight for the ventilation shaft when the screaming started. And who should we <laughs> find but Bazagand? He was releasing some kind of vaporized agent to the ventilation system while cackling like a deranged demon came at me with his fist balled up and beat me unconscious with the canister he was carrying. That was the last mistake he ever made. When I came to, saw that Missy had torn his throat out of his neck. He must have inhaled a massive shit. dose of whatever poison he was trying to circulate around the mule because I passed out again. When I woke up a few days later, my loyal pooch had eaten what was left of Tice. Oh my god. What the fuck? We're surviving on salvage ju uh, juca paste. We have enough for a few months. Or at least until the air purifiers give up or reset. I have no idea what the correct settings are. And Basa God, Basa, whatever, damage the equipment. <laughs> I'm sure the rescue team is close. I feel wrong. All I hear is a rhythmic beat. Oh. It's driving me crazy. Are the children singing again? Their voices echo against the walls of my cranium. We're reaching for heaven. We must ascend. Missy is at my side. Her friendship is all that matters. All that matters, baby. She's definitely going to eat me. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Blooming uh. body. I'm going to look. We're going to do it in three. <clears throat> Here we go. Get ready. Cover your eyeballs. It's a post-human form. I love this. What? Jesus. In hell. Is that human? Hello? The fucking heart is still beating, Charlie. Language, Mac. Those look like flowers? Some sort of vegetative growth? Flowers. They float, too. Spores. There's spores coming off that thing. Moses, get away from it. My Mac. So I can probably put <laughs> something in here. I would assume that this is where the tummy goes. Central atmospheric monitoring system requires recalibration. I can read. Thanks, Bear. Lucky Bear. Lucky Bear. Lee, also, it's great to see you. Welcome. Okay, so I think that I went back, but now I'm ready to go through this grate. No, I did. I did check this out. I get over here. Oh, I didn't even understand that there was an entrance here. Okay. Oh, it's oh. the right side of the office. Oh, that's an iris vent is what you call that. Oh, we still have these tools. It's a good shape for chewing. Okay, so this is locked. All right. Let's see if we can do anything with this regulator from the other side. Maybe if I 
give Can this. you give the broken handle to... Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. <clears throat> Maybe something like this. And... We have a working handle. Great. That's a plus. Okay. I mean... I feel like I know what I'm doing. We repaired the handle. So we need to find the... Inert gas. Have I seen those numbers before? I'm going to exit out this way again, because I feel like those numbers were somewhere out here. Well, I mean, xenon and helium would both be inert gases. Yeah. Okay. Nothing out here. Uh, not nitrogen, I guess. Okay, so I I'm gonna briefly look at all these things. Oh, let's look at the thing. Oh, oh, fun. What? What's fun? I like fun. I'm mean, just a smashed bloody screen. Yeah, whoops, I didn't mean to switch. Regulator valve. I don't see any other information here, so I'm going to briefly look around real fast and see if we can get any information from this. Okay, so I'm going to work under the assumption that we've mostly done the stuff that we need to do on the other one, because we looked at the numbers and we did that. H49. Do the numbers. This goes from 1 to 100, counter diffusion. Sat decompression. Huh. I don't know. You know what? Maybe if we go back, there's some information on the console. Mmm, that's a good point. Hey! <laughs> hey! Amazing! All right, 20 inert, 54 counter diffusion, 26 sat decompression. Let's fucking go. Dude, used Mickey, this game is unbelievable. Um, okay, I literally, the numbers have completely left my brain. What were they again? 20, 20, 54. 26 was the last one? 26, yeah. That's right. Pretty sure that's right. Yeah, let's just double check it real fast since this is easy. 20, 54, 26. And then of course, 20, 54, 26. This does seem like the kind of game that will go, yo, you did a really good job, well done. It's that damn Xenon. Attention. Oh, I know what to do here. Right? Oops. It was like this, right? Yep. I will leave here soon. Good work, Mose. Cleverest bear. Meet us back at the main lobby. Clever, cleverest bear. You're making a monster here. I'm the cleverest bear. I am the cleverest bear. <clears throat> God, this game is just so old school with its sensibilities. I adore it. Um, that seems bad. What the? What the hell just? This place isn't as intact as I thought. Pressure differential caused it to buckle. Is Charlie Mac okay? The diving bell's destroyed. There's no way back up. 
bigger issue is we're trapped and it's flooding. Get there, Charlie what were you Bear. Before? Oh, calm beneath the surface. Is Charlie Mac okay? No, Moses. We're not. It's flooding in here. We need a way out. Go! Charlie Bear! You take take the way out. Take the exit. Oh. I could try and break the glass. Broken glass is dangerous, Mac. Thank you, Moses. Okay. God damn it. The control box is shorted. You'll have to bridge the short. I'm an absolute the adventure gamer. Stay out. The door won't stay I open. don't think that's what, what a we... short is. You get through the door. But I'll figure it out. <clears throat> get through it. Go. Go, 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 go. Get in the fucking go. Go! Go! Oh my god, point and click intensity. Go! I'm gonna I'm an, click. This is awesome, and like, I feel uh, the tension, and I'm pretty sure there's no ticking clock there. I'm sure I there mean, is. there could be. I'm sure there's no there ticking clock. There could be. Yeah. Mac? Moses? Oh. Mac, can you hear me? Mac! I love how it goes static. static. Yeah, it doesn't slow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, That's oh great. we have some remains. Let's look at them up close. Oh, oh my god, gross. What the fuck? Igniter? An igniter? Why do you, why is there an igniter? Hold on, let me look at Google Maps. Huh, what do you think this is? This is really interesting. Let's actually just take a moment. <laughs> I think that this ornate iconography is reminiscent of Aztec oh. and Mayan cultures. I mean... <laughs> Charles, are you there? Read me. Oh my god, it stresses me out. Matt, oh my I know, god. It is extremely... Yeah. Oh, thank god. <sighs> yeah, don't get too excited. Still flooding in here. Running out of headspace, fast. Okay, uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, figure it out. Oh boy. Uh, pressure management. Pressure management? <laughs> and it's, I click on it, it's like, you are under pressure. I'm like, I oh, fucking know. Okay, so we need some. Can you, you can't use the same pattern there that you used in the last one, can you? Because um, it's a three by three grid. I, I maybe could, but I'm gonna use this one oh, instead. Th there's okay. a different one. Okay. It's inverted. I know, I like it. Flip the switch. Oh. What is oh, this Oh, shit. We gotta play this game. What's this game? Uh, you're trying to make the bottom uh, all equal, so I think they're all going to be oh. one. Oh, I see. So there's four gaps here, so that I need to. I didn't realize there were two things here. What are these patterns here, man? What is this shit? It's all right. wild. Okay, so let me see. Let me see what's all the way across here. Oh, I need to make the bottom be the same as the top. That's what I need to do. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need three here. Hold on, let me just stare at this for a quick second. Let me see what the entire expanse is of this. Okay, so that's not going to be it. Then... So orange, I mean, red is bad because you can't have anything on the right hand column. We can we can just eliminate anything that has any so it should be value nice. on the right hand column. Yeah. And this is. Oh, I'm off by one, aren't I? This doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. This fucking music, man. I know it's. Is this um? What's the what's that uh, audio illusion where like? Oh my god! I've asked you this before, and then you always answer instantly, and then. 
All right, so he here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rethink this again. Shepherd's Town. Okay, so... Shepherd, Shepherd Town. So I thought I had it, but I'm going to just do tail. this more yeah, methodically. Yeah. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the bottom, because this one seems to be the most dense, right? So this is the as far right as it can be. When I scroll it all the way that way. So this just has the most density, right? So but there's only like four possibilities that have nothing in the right hand column, right? Like one, two, three, four, right? Those are the only ones. And so if we, so I'm just going to leave this here because you're right. There's one. Sure. So again, it is this or this. Okay. I like that one. And let's also kind of do the analysis on this one. This has a lot more options of where it can sit, but I'm going to leave this it does. here. And it would question. it be better to do red first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is where I just start, like, doing my usual brute forcing tactic. Okay, so here's the thing. So... I think that there's two things that we need to look at to solve this. I think the first thing that you did was right, which is this one. But the next thing is that this has three. The fourth so column. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's got to be one in each of those. So, like, what allows us to begin to calculate this is that right away we know that this is not a solution. Because we have to have something here. We have two here. And then we can look at the other columns in the bottom that are empty, and we can sort of do the same kind of pigeonhole principle analysis. Like, this column can never be satisfied if this is the one. So we actually want one blank one one. That mm. is... Yeah, so one blank one one, and this fills in that. And now what we need is we just need two together here to solve the puzzle. And I don't know if we actually have that anywhere here. So that's fine. So that's fine. Um, I mean, we arbitrarily picked this as a thing. And you know, let me, let's me let do this analysis one more time because this rightmost column has to be empty and this fourth column has to have one. So this yeah. does not work. Not good. Okay, so look, I, I keep forgetting which way is left or right. My mental model's screwing this up. But So this is an option, but we know it doesn't work because the fourth column is empty. This is an option, and it could work because the fourth column's occupied. This is an option that could work because the fourth column's occupied, but I looked at this one, and I think it doesn't work. And this one doesn't work either. Because, again, this one has an empty column mm -hmm. here, because it has to, but it needs a thing here. So this was... Uh, let me... I keep hitting the wrong direction. So this was an option. This is a legitimate option for us to consider because it has the property that this right is empty, but this fourth one has a cell. So then what we do is we try to come up with whatever one in green has something in this cell as well. This is an option. This cannot an work option. as an option because we need two in here and there's not enough here. Yep. So we, we, we know that we actually need green green here. That was, that was the identification. And the only way to get green green there is through this, and the question is, can we get this to work? If we right. assume that this is the first one, we must have double green here, and if we have that, then so we So that has to be the green one. Yeah, so then we can- There should be a red solution, okay. Yeah, so then we can just trivially go through here and just see if one of these works. We don't even have to do any interesting analysis. We just go one by one, and we should see that this doesn't work. Yeah, so this doesn't work. Therefore, we know so for it has a fact- to be that a this, different blue, yeah. This is the blue that it has to be because we did the first blue that had an empty column here and a full column here, and we concluded that there was only a one green solution that matched that, and there were none in orange. So now we restart the analysis. We can just pull this all the way to the side again, and we can look at this and say, okay, well, what needs to be true for this? Well, we definitely need something here. And what needs does this have? Aha, I see what the needs are, right? Right here, there is a blank spot, so there must be a green here, no matter what. There must be a green here, and there must be a green here, right? Yep. Green here, green here, and empty here. So it needs to be empty, green, green. Let's see if we can find something that There's, is... There was one. 
right empty there. green green, right? This this is a potential candidate. So let's see if there's any other empty green green. Let me go all the way to this way. So this is green green empty. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yep, this is the only combination it's just that works. one. Where this goes empty, green, green. And now that we have this, we would say that this doesn't fucking work at all! Oh my god, it doesn't fucking work at all because this thing is here. Wait a minute. I think I did something wrong. Fuck! So this is empty here and this here. Okay, so let's try this again. This needs to be empty. This needs to be green and this needs to be green. Is there, is there not a third blue option? I thought there was a third blue option. Oh, I think I made a incorrect statement, because I said empty, and then I said that this one needed to be... Isn't the top wrong? We don't, we're not even worried about the top right now, Scott or Jim. We are just looking at these bottom two. Let me, let me just double check my assumptions on this, and I really wish this music would shut the fuck up. Um, so, okay, so... This bottom one, we know has to have an empty column here. We know that this has to be occupied, or excuse me, this one has to be occupied to fill this up three. So this is a candidate, but we did the analysis on that one. This is a candidate. This is not a candidate. So this was the, this was the candidate that we were investigating. This one here, right? Empty, full. Right, empty full. So then we need to find one that's empty here. Has a green here. And somehow I concluded that this was... This is a different blue. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. This, we... isn't, this isn't the candidate that we were looking at. Thank you for correcting me on that one. Great. Beep, 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 beep. Is this the candidate that we were looking at? This? No, this is not it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, I'm sorry. I keep my brain keeps getting fucked when I slide this over. So th this is a candidate. But what was the other candidate that we looked at? Was it this one? Blank and empty. Yeah, this is the one that we we're looking at. This is it, right? Blank here, filled here. Mhm. Mm okay. So if that's true, then we know that we need a green one here and a green one here and an empty thing mm -hmm. there. That was the conclusion. Because if green is here, that'll contribute to the three stack. And this has no blue, but it has two. So we know that we'll eventually need orange there. We're just looking at this one, right? So it should be green, green, empty. So for instance, this green, green, empty should be a potential candidate, All right? Green, green, empty. So I, I, I'm sorry, I guess I did have it right, but I accidentally debated myself. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything was fine before. I just, uh, I actually misinterpreted this thing. Empty, green, 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 green. So then we should be able to trivially slide this along until we just get the solution. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I had it right before, but, like, the problem is when I hit left and right, it would, like, slide in a way that was opposite to what I was expecting. I think it would help if there had been an animation yeah. of it sliding or something. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? Maintenance requested. Moses. Hello, Mike. Your situation does not seem fun. Well, you're not wrong. Can you open this vent? I hit the maintenance request. My Mac. Switch, switch to Smart Bear. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, I'm just like, boy, I sure love Charlie. <laughs> Routine maintenance is important. Hi, Charlie. Can we go back to Mac? Thank God you're here. I would just sit there for like 10 minutes and be like, <laughs> this isn't fucking working. Not bad, Bear. Mac, I am glad you are not dead. More than just a toy, isn't he? You may have a point. <coughs> Where are you? I think uh, an escape pod bay. Looks sealed, though. Give me a second here. 
It's you, probably gonna be full of terrible things. You know, th there's actually. Oh shit! Oh shit! Th there's. Okay, look. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna go for it. Go for it down here, sweetie. There you go. Yeah, go lick your butt. Go, go investigate your proctoheliosis. Um. <laughs> Oh, and you immediately come back up. Okay, great. Now you're just doing it outside of the view of the camera, but it's right next to me. All right, whatever. <laughs> so I think there's something that I, I'd not quite thought about and appreciated, um, which is that if you have three different characters in three different locations, it immediately eliminates the need for constantly walking everywhere because mm -hmm. you have three quick load points, basically, mm -hmm. to start wandering around. So it allows you to interact with the space at a much faster rate. Mm -hmm. um, and then this game is, has done a really good job of very naturally splitting us up. Like that sequence yep. felt very natural. And I can imagine if they're like, okay, we're gonna come together, but now we need to spread you out again. So that way we can actually make interesting puzzles and have interesting actions over a large space. But again, each character is gonna be like a quick save, quick load. And they did it well the first time too. Like yeah. The, the, yeah, that it's seems... the escape pods. And <clears throat> big shock, they're all gone. At least someone got out of here alive. Time to see tentacles eating everything. Wait. Pods aren't all gone. And not everyone escaped. What do you mean? Uh oh. Someone's alive? What? In one of the pods. They're not moving, but I can hear them inside. Hello, can you hear me? Are you hurt? Oh. This is going to be real bad when we open this. <clears throat> All right. Not going to be easy. Lock will be pressurized. If you can hear me, I'm gonna try and get you out of there. Just stay calm. Save the game? I thought that this game auto-saved. Alright. You know. Saving it anyways. Uh, can you jam a... We don't have the screwdriver anymore. <clears throat> so let me just let me just step away. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go back and let's keep wandering around. So here's the remains where we saw that weird thruster, and here's the map. Diving suit. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this. Mm, rear thruster looks damaged. If only I had a thruster. But, oh, I should probably take the first. Sit thrusters removed. Sit thruster maintenance should only be performed by trained certified technicians. According to who? So I should take this, I should give this to Mac. Mac should break it apart. And then she's gonna repair it Thrust with the. Got into this igniter, twisting it okay. just right. Got the thruster working. Okay. I mean, pleasing, straightforward. Happy to do it. Good thing these thrusters are modular. <laughs> just put in a new igniter. Yeah, good thing. There we are. Good thing my inventory is modular. Thrust is replaced. Thrust is operating within established parameters. Cave systems, biotechnological deep atmosphere environment suit. Systems check. Warning. Suit maintenance required before operation. Warning. Okay. Okay, so I get out of there. I'm gonna go to the terminal. God, all these. This is just so good. Images. You know what? I'm gonna go with personal log. Uh, uh, personal log of Matt Barton. Sean, this is going to be your final performance of the evening. <coughs> All right, here we go. Matt Barton. 
Happy birthday to me. I'm 90 years old and I don't look a day over 45. It's one of the perks of a pampered life as an Oregon insurance product. Life Blood Core at your service. To celebrate, I ordered a Kazu Marzu and washed it down with a con Kananav D Sergey does uh, something. <laughs> Live maggots and all. I've always been a loner with the penchant for good life. Even during my time at La Vida Paradis, which only cost me a kidney. Now my family debt has finally been paid off and the best is yet to come. All right, I'll do this. I, I'll do the voice too. Have you ever had any more run-ins with scrubbers? Well, when I'd go out for pressure tests a few months back, I'd see a swarm every two or three hours. Now I'll see one every time I leave the mule. I know they are supposed to be harmless, but I got the impression they're not working correctly. Dive suits I'm servicing show up with electrical burns and they're deep sea rated and metallic glass reinforced. I've almost overhauled the Max Ocean M4 diving suit. Several parts still need to be replaced and repaired. Unfortunately, the old components are unsalvageable because they were melted by scrubbers. I wish we had one of those fancy matter replicators Bantelago is always talking about. Not just these duplicator trash buckets. I heard the temple jockeys got one. What a waste. I would print a Yubari melon with sliced fugu and sashimi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I see. This guy's a foodie. I've been combing through the old maintenance logs and found a restricted entry referencing Alpha, first forward operating base. It was decommissioned about a decade ago, well before my time. Apparently, it's not just some weird artifacts on the ocean bed. There is a Newman down there. Number really? three. Kane decided to leave it trapped at the bottom of the ocean. Kind of hard to believe they would abandon a Newman, uh, but here it is in green pixels. Imagine the value of a Newman, dead or alive. Consider my 90-year-old youthful interest peaked. If I could navigate a sample collector... <laughs> if I could if I could navigate a sample collector over the plateau, maybe we can explore the old base. I have to rope in uh, Follis to get this uh, sneak and peek. He has access to off-the-books equipment that won't get me shot or quartered, or both. Robert Bulls, <clears throat> congratulations on your winning streak last night. I heard you clean Matthews out. Buzzer sample collector like a hornet with roid rage. Listen up, salt dog. Ow! Need to borrow one of your UAVs for a couple hours. It's the least you can do after forgetting my birthday. Sometimes I think about the rich prick that got, me in my, that got my left kidney. Of all my organs, it was my favorite. I always found it funny that some wealthy people want real organs when we can grow, even print, perfectly good replicas. All themselves 100% human. What a bunch of yellow leaf fantasists. But who am I then? I felt like a cow or a broodmare at times. The pay is too good. Besides, after being genetically paired with a policyholder, you have to uh, emulate their lifestyle to minimize the chances of rejection. Tonight, I drown my sorrows in manuka honey drizzled on garlicky elbow white truffles. At least I can still have my. At least I still have my heart. Heart replicas just aren't the same. They keep ticking even when you're a corpse. Dude, interesting world building. <laughs> I didn't realize interesting that. Interesting world building. That's why we're That's able to find up. these hearts. Okay. Okay. The rover excursion to Alpha Base was a bust. Cave in prevented traditional access, so I squeezed through a fissure, passing some old equipment. Once I was out of the cave and headed for the base entrance, what could only be described as a bloated sea slug with teeth tore the drone to pieces like a hungry man would sous vide butter poached lobster. Uh, I ran this operation in the black. Oh, this is going to go ballistic on my ass. Absolutely ballistic. Hey, the scrubbers that maintain the graphene hull of domes A through E seem to be multiplying. It's electrifying. I know they are bioengineered not to breed, but I am certain there are more of them every day. Scrubber orgy would be a thing to behold. I know some crew are fond of the blue electric light show they put on, but I suspect these critters are dangerous. I request an immediate catch and catalog of the swarm. Uh, Kane's sake. The mule is in chaos. Yvette was hit by a stray bullet which completely tore off part of her head and Barney's ribs were knocked in. End of vlog. Oh, Jesus. I saw a rover at the bulwark during my sneak and peek. It may come in handy. We stopped the base kill order. 
All this uh, simulated the VAT, then killed the hard line between the mule and uh, DS-15. Which I think is the upper space the, station, yeah. Yeah, right. I cut the data tether to deep sea simultaneously, and he nuked the uplink. I don't know how long the ruse will last. Hopefully long enough for us to get topside. We are headed back to the mule now. I would die for a dollop of almost caviar and a saltine cracker. And his voice transcoded. Let's see how accurate your voice was, Sean. Okay, this is going to be a big moment. Oh, no. It's just... No, no. no. All right. I'll handle these. The bell returned to right. schedule, but headed Oceanside after only 10 minutes. Hope some of the crew escaped. The bell requires at least one occupant to ascend, and it sure as shit wasn't us in there. I mostly made it back, Robert. Scrubbers melted his suit al dente. Almost narked on dive re-entry trying to get away from them, but those electro squibs caused power surge on the moon pools Iris's door. <laughs> Alas, there's been no rescue. I smell the gassy, aromatic stench of rotten onions like a putrid lobster bisque. All right, well. So we need some Poor guy. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's how I'm going to go. Um, let's do this. Okay, so we need to figure out the right atmospheric pressure, but we also open the suit. Use his bio lungs. Yeah, <laughs> looks like um, biofix mark three or four. They're damaged though, and I think my only way out of here is fixing this thing. You want to take a bio dais out onto the seafloor? Yes, I want to see it. How hard could it be? This woman. I am not Careful with those. Carry disease just like any other organ. I know how biotech works now. But the audience might not. <laughs> no, don't turn on the thruster. Sorry, sir, I wanted to see the thruster. Uh is the thing on the left, is that like the the um Environment Spears, heating. Oh, yeah, the there's Spears a little coolant. Got it. <clears throat> Do you want to rip up these lungs? <laughs> Put it in there. No. Cannot do. Okay. Wow, this is it. Oh, there's a entire path here. No, not an entire path. It's a little baby path for babies. Where is uh, Smart Bear? Should still be in the vents where we left him. Poor thing. Oh. Right, right. Oops, 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 oops. Oops, oops. Because it's trying to look at what other items they have. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is not a good place to play. It smells wrong. Like dead things. Dude, ever wonder what the point was of putting olfactory sensors on a toy? Maybe because it makes um. it more real. You are either real, or you're not. You're right, Mose. I'm sorry. Um... I'm, I have thoughts about what's happening up there. Should we... Let's. You know what? Let's take a peek. This will be the last thing we, fit, we see. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. It could be gruesome. Jesus. It is. Hey, hey, it's a QR code. Hold on. Oh, awesome. Ugh. Content. Hold on. <laughs> cool. Can you scan that, please? What the fuck? Yeah, that's, this is grizzly. I don't think there's enough there to get a, to get a read. All right. 
seven one five four. Woof. This is the game. Yo, dude. This this game is so good. We're gonna call it there. It this is really game good. is so good. It is really good. This game is so insanely good. I can't even believe it. Uh, it is. It is good. It is. It is very gruesome. Yeah, it's. <clears throat> and you know, it, it's actually a kind of gruesomeness that I feel like I can handle, because it's <sighs> so boring. Um, excuse me, I didn't mean to yawn. Um, it's because there's no jump scares. It's it's like environmentally frightening, but. Mm. It's like conceptually frightening, not like actually actively trying to upset me and lie to me with tension and high strings all the time. <laughs> Except for the one part that was doing exactly that. But it didn't feel uh, tense because it was a puzzle. Like you knew it was up, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like I can handle this because it is so 90s in its presentation. Yeah. It feels like everything is kind of put in a little box um and uh and and kind of i don't know pi pixelated in a way but i'm the opposite of you in general and like movies yeah give me jump scares like that's oh. exciting that's oh. that's fine uh but do not show me fucking blood i don't want to see any blood on the screen oh man like not even a little bit i am like nearly the perfect like inversion of you like if, yeah, if, if we yeah. were together we would form like a circle exceptionally like this is why i yeah. like reading horror but not watching horror as much mm. like dude junji ito i can stomach i can handle paging yeah. through that absolutely gruesome grisly bibliography um I mean, yeah there there was some of that some of uh uzumaki that that was a little a little tough to look at a little hard to read eating the snails oh my god that was horrifying. Mm, mm. Oh, oh my god. Woo. Hey, um, before we go, I've been doing something really fun, and I want to let people know about it. Can I do that? Oh my god, yes. I mean, only as long as we get the opportunity to plug Lee Grainer. We, should, we also got to do that. Our co-host who's not here, you can book <laughs> on our new consultancy for creative coaching, Project Consultation. Is a, She's doing like group consultant stuff, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or like group sessions, which sounds fascinating. Like I'm, I'm really curious to see how that goes. Yeah. That sounds neat. Um, what you were saying. My, uh, so my girlfriend Leslie got me an advent calendar uh, for the month of December, and it is an escape room advent calendar. I'm gonna show. Oh like my the, god, it's so just good. Just a little. Just a little. You can kind of see. Yeah, a little bit what this is. An yeah, room so um, it is it is extremely rad. It does a couple of really extremely clever things, um, and then the puzzles are also uh, good. Um, but like it it has a system built into it for every day. Like you open up a little box. There's like a little story. You open up a little box. It gives you some like clues and things and a riddle that you have to solve. And every oh, one of them so results in a three digit number. So you're always trying to like figure solve this riddle for a three digit number. But then it has an internal mechanism that lets you basically take that three digit number and check and see if it's right. Uh, and and you can tell if it's wrong. You can tell if it's the wrong number, wow, really? but it's really hard to brute force the solution. Oh, I'm so <laughs> it's really clever. It's like this neat system of like really encouraging you to try to solve the puzzle, but also making it very clear that like you found the solution or you haven't found the solution yet. Yeah, no, I know um, there's a lot. Of it is, yeah. I've, some of the some escape room in a box stuff is a varying quality. I've seen some exit game stuff that yeah. uh, that wasn't so great, but this is amazing. Uh, and if you can get your hands on it, it's still early in December. You can you can play along, dude. Yo, I mean like that sounds so sick. Cause like there's a lot of really interesting things in math that <laughs> are like stuff where it's trivially easy to verify a solution, but virtually impossible mm -hmm. to brute force the solution. Um, and a lot of those 
are like how we communicate our passwords by pushing it over the internet. And like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it's okay because yep. there's ways to like map numbers to other numbers in ways that I, I never thought about using that as like a way to avoid having a mechanical mechanism. But just say, you can't open this unless you have these three digits. Compare it on this chart, do these operations, and if you wind up with three fours, so you're, let you're me clear. I, if because I, I think I can do it quickly. Let me just describe the way that yeah. it works because it's super clever. So you've got this sort of like you know you can input your three digit solution on this little decoder thing. It doesn't matter. Every digit basically has two symbols associated with it. One of them is an arrow that points in one of eight directions, and the other one is just like a little shape. And you are, let me pull this up again. You're, uh, this is the advent calendar. It's got all of the little doors that you can open. Only the first door is labeled one. And after that, you have to f solve the puzzle in order to figure out which door is next. Oh, man. So your three digit solution will give you three arrows. You navigate starting from where you are, three arrows across the, like, you know, the three arrows will point you step by step to another door. And then that it also gives you three symbols. And so you can see if the three symbols on your solution match the three symbols on the door. Or if, if they the do, then you know that's correct. Yeah, or, or if the arrows took you somewhere that, where there was no door, then you also fucked up. Right, if the arrows took you off the edge of the Jeez, page. So um, but often the arrows will take you to a door and then you'll compare the symbols and be like, well, this isn't the right door because it's got different symbols on it. Uh, Jeez, that's and then you go back and solve the riddle again. It's really cool. It's really smart. That's really, that's amazing. That's so sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's well done. It's, it's worth checking out. Dude. All right. Holy shit. That's so awesome. And it is good games. Good games all be, over tonight. Dude, it's just good games and good stuff. And actually tomorrow there is a, I'm going to be playing a city building game that I think is one of the cleverest city building games I've ever played called Against the Storm. It's having its 1.0 release. Have you heard of this? No. So the idea is of where I should say a problem that a lot of city building games have is that once you have figured out the balancing act of all the resources, you're done with the game. Sure. And my favorite sure. example of this is the game Banished that when it came out, I must have just played it for like 100 <clears throat> hours the following week. I like mm -hmm. no life that game. Um, mm -hmm. And so what this game does is you step in and you have a small set of buildings and you have to either fill up 14 pips of success to beat the level or if like 10 pips of failure fill up, you lose the level. So there's a mm -hmm. win bar and a loss bar. And as you're playing, there's various things you can do to increase this bar. Um, that involve constructing or completing things on the screen. And when you go up a pip, you get the opportunity to um, unlock another building, but it gives you a random set of three buildings. So, you know, you can choose, let's say like uh, a lumber mill. And the lumber mill is really good at turning basic wood into like wooden planks. I'm kind of making it up. Or you can also make barrels and a, like a third thing. And the barrels are an ingredient for if you wanted to make wine. You need to store wine in a barrel. Sure. You need to store beer in a barrel. Or if you made a masonry, you could make clay pots and you could also make the beer and store it in clay pots. So like all these buildings kind of plug in in all kinds of different ways to other buildings. And so as you're winning more, you're getting more win progress and you're unlocking more buildings. And another thing that it does is you basically get these quests where as you're playing, it presents to you like you need to make 50 clay pots and 50 wooden barrels. And so then you are trying to choose buildings that will help you complete the quest, which gets you more victory progress. Mm -hmm. Once you get more buildings to do more quests, you get more victory progress. And you're trying to do all of this on a semi-randomized map where once you beat it, it's you're just done with it. And then you go on to the next level, mm -hmm. which is also mm -hmm. semi-random. So it's kind of like a roguelike city builder. Interesting. Um, and it, the, the fact that you have these little victory conditions that you're constantly trying to fill gives you a lot of guidance. And the fact that it's like semi-random, it also makes it just very, um, solve the puzzle that is in front of you now, kind of. Mm -hmm, based. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Really good. So we're going to be playing that tomorrow. Interesting. That right, sounds right. very cool. And of course, more Baldur's Gate 3 because the game fucking rules. But for now, Sean, of I'm going to go to bed. Because I got to get up hey. in the morning and be a farmer. Woohoo. Hell yeah. Sweet. Sean, this is awesome. Have a great night. Bye 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 bye. Always Everyone a pleasure. Watch. Bye bye bye. You're great. Bye.